WDJS Productions offers biblical teachings of God's Word for you. Our prayer is that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Hi, I'm Glenda. And I'm Cheryl. Mark 16, 16 says, He who believes and is baptized will be saved. When we receive Jesus Christ into our hearts as our Lord and Savior, the Word of God commands us to be water baptized. We would like to share with you about water baptism and what it means according to the Word of God. But before we get started, I'd like to open up in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, we thank you for this beautiful day, another day that you gave us to serve you, to glorify you, and even to share your word out there with people who might never even have, have heard about water baptism. So we thank you, Lord, and we call upon your name for your direction, that you'd help us, you'd guide us, Father, by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Acts, there are numerous examples of believers being baptized upon their confession of faith. And the first scripture is in Acts, starting in verse 36, and then we'll also read verse 37 and 38. It says, And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized them. Look how simple it is. As soon as he believed, he was ready and willing to be water baptized. Amen. And there's two more scriptures here I'd like to share with you. The first one is in Acts 2, verse 38. It says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And just a little bit further down, verse 41, there's another one. It says, Then they that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day there were added unto them about three thousand souls. Yeah, and in Romans 6, 3, and 4, it goes even more in depth of what it represents to us as believers. And it's in Romans 6, verse 3 and 4. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. According to the Word of God, baptism in the name of Jesus Christ is an open show identifying with Christ in His death, burial, and resurrection. It is an acknowledgement that a believer has accepted Jesus mm -hmm. into his heart. Baptism in and of itself is not a means of forgiveness and salvation. It's an outward sign of an inward change of heart. Baptism represents that we have repented of our sins and have received Jesus Christ. We have a new, changed life, and we no longer live for ourselves, but for the Lord Jesus Christ. The word baptize means to cover completely with a fluid, make fully wet, and to dip. It means full immersion. By going down into the water, we are showing we are dead to ourselves, and by coming up out of the water, we declare our new life in Jesus. Jesus himself got baptized, as we read in Matthew 3, verse 16. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. Jesus is our example. Amen. He went in the water and then came up out of the water. And as he did it, so do we. Any believer in Jesus Christ can baptize another that desires to be water baptized. The person getting baptized must of course be saved, knowing Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. Pray for the person before baptizing them and ask if they have anything on their heart that they would like to confess and be freed from before they get baptized. Matthew 28 verse 19 says, 
Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. It's pretty clear of how to baptize someone. It's in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There has been much confusion in churches and different denominations of being baptized into a church and not Jesus Christ. But the Bible makes it plain that we are baptized into Jesus Christ and Him alone. When I was baptized, I received such an overwhelming peace, joy, and clarity in the Holy Spirit. It also brought a refreshing and confidence in my salvation. I love that scripture in Romans 14, 17 where it says, For the kingdom of God is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Baptism is absolutely essential as a child of God, and it brings freedom that every believer in Jesus Christ has the privilege to experience. Thank you for watching, and now a message from the Nine. There is a time in the life of all human beings when we will determine in our hearts what is truth. Hutterites by the Nine is a true story, a message of nine courageous people who escaped the Hutterite system in which they were born and raised. By choosing life outside their colonies, it cost them their family ties and the places they once called home. They were confronted with unimaginable obstacles, which they successfully overcame. The book, Hutterites by the Nine. Since We Told the Truth invites the reader to continue with the Nine as they advance their passionate vision. The Nine are sharing the truths they have come to know and continue to establish godly principles in this nation to inspire vision, determination, and hope. Since We Told the Truth is a cogent invitation to all who have been numb by complacency to a call of action for themselves, their family, and their nation. Buy the books, Hutterites, and Since We Told the Truth, buy the Nine, online or at Barnes & Noble bookstores everywhere. May the Father of glory give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of Him and make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Thank you for watching. For more teachings, visit WDJSProductions.com.